I guess there's one last thing I was thinking we need to do on this seat, which is <laughs> down here. Um, we haven't beveled uh, the back corner of it yet, or at least we haven't shown that part. Uh, so I was thinking we could do that and then work on building the back. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so usually I do this with a spoke shave, but I figured you weren't going to approve of that. So I already did half of it with a draw knife. Is that the way you'd, you'd go about that? Yeah. In fact, I always do it with a draw knife. Uh, uh, you know, I guess it might make sense to do it with a spoke shave, but it doesn't matter what chair I'm on. I do it with a draw knife. I, I just think n nothing cuts that that clean especially that ingrain back there like a draw knife i mean it's it's the ultimate low angle tool because all it is is the angle of the bevel there's nothing right. else messing with it now of course with a with a wooden body spoke shave uh you know you've you've got that too but i just doing it i like doing it just with that one pass with the draw knife and it's also a great spot to uh use your draw knife uh bevel up now aliens no. use that bevel down but yeah and you might get in a little bit of trouble there right at the very first but you can take a bevel down draw knife that's perfectly flat on the back and you can cut this bevel really sweet now like i said right when you start it might mess with you. It might you you might have to do that bevel down but just as soon as you start around the turn there and get into that short grain you can do it with with a bevel up and that back will lay flat right on that bevel and track and uh so you can cut it just as sweet and pretty as as as, as it can get um, and you know you can remember that move in other areas too uh i mean that draw knife is a wonderful ingrain tool and and you can do it with that, with that bevel up and then the the flat back tracks enables you to do you see it doing that Ailey? is it yeah i do, do it yeah yeah it's great uh i never would have thought of doing that though i do remember you telling me to do this with a draw knife one time we were at your shop and i was building something or another i tried it and it ate me up uh but yeah. it's working out pretty good now so that's great that's fun yeah and one of the reasons is once again you know especially if you had a short bevel on that on that draw knife much harder to control right there so you're going to go up and down it's going to look real crappy uh and alias bevel is hey it's kind of medium size it's not it's not extra short but it's not real long either you know no so it's about three sixteenths or so that's 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 pretty small so uh you've got to i mean alias used it a lot he's got a lot of good control over it but that that's difficult for somebody who hadn't used the draw knife a lot. So it's going to be easier if you do flip that thing over and just track on that back, maybe get you a piece of wood and practice it first. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and make sure it's not going to dive down with you. So. And one thing uh, that I was doing that we should maybe mention is, is hewing and slicing with it. So I'm holding the knife uh, at an angle uh, to the wood and then also moving it a little bit sideways as I'm going across, especially as you go to the end grain. You can't skew it that way. You know, you'll tear it. Uh, you need to push these top fibers down into something that's supporting them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just try to think of it as using the whole draw knife. So if you're thinking of it that way, starting on one end and ending up on the other end, then that's, that's a good way to think about it.